Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, rsquad911. I'm back again with another unboxing and review, um, but in this case it would be an unbagging review. Um, and is it, if it isn't obvious already, it has obviously something to do with The Mandalorian, one of my favorite shows, my favorite Star Wars right now currently. And I have in front a bunch of Japanese cooking knives, but that will be more obvious why I have those in a couple of minutes when I start talking about this. Um, so this is from a company in Australia called 05AU. I think the AU um, stands for Australia. Um, so these are, are you ready for it? Beskar ingots. Yes, Beskar ingots. I got a couple of them because I didn't want to look like a scrub having just one. I wanted to have three and look baller. Um, these weren't that expensive. Uh, I think they're about like 60 US dollars each. Um, there are cheaper alternatives out there, um, but I've been doing a lot of research and there's a lot of different types of Beskar props replicas out there. There's ones that are 3D printed, there's ones that are molded out of plastic, there are ones just made out of steel or aluminum, and um, either it's like scratched in the pattern or it's engraved in it. But uh, when I was watching the movie, um, the first thing that came to mind when they showed these Beskar ingots was that it really reminded me of Damascus steel, um, like my Japanese cooking knives. Um, so if you see here on one of my knives here, you can see the Damascus pattern and that's like a forged blade. Those are all the different types of folded and forged metals all in the blade there. And um, it comes out to a really, really nice pattern. Not only does it make it very strong, very sharp um, with a carbon um, steel um, inner core, uh, it looks really, really pretty. So when I saw the Beskar on the Mandalorian, I thought, oh my goodness, it looks just like my Japanese knives. And then this one has more of a hammered finish on there. Hopefully I don't cut myself. I have a lot more. Uh, I just didn't want to bring them all downstairs in case I dropped one and it went through my foot. That would just not be good. Um, yeah, so I love cooking. I love Damascus steel. I love Japanese blades. So when I found these Beskar ingots, um, you can find them on Etsy or on their website at uh, 50au.com, I think it is, or .au. Uh, I'm sure if you Google search it, you'll find it. Um, I had to have them. Um, I didn't want engraved ones where you could feel, I guess, the engraving in it. And plus, if you bought several of them, three to five or whatever, unless you're buying one, it's fine, but all the patterns would be the same. And with Damascus steel, the way that it's made and forged and processed, um, it always has a different pattern. So each different piece will have its own characteristic. So I haven't opened these yet. We're going to open these together. Um, hopefully they are going to look good. I've seen some earlier um, that's a very sharp knife, obviously. I've seen some earlier uh, pictures of this product, and I think uh, I saw there was like, you know, some pitting in it, but that's like natural from, from the process of making Damascus steel. Um, but what really stood out to me was um, the Imperial logo on some of them were very skewed or, or off. Um, so I was worried that uh, that uh, my pieces, oh my goodness, there's so much tape on this, I don't know how I'm gonna open this. I guess I'm gonna have to use my knives again. Um, so I was hoping like maybe those were the earlier versions and uh, it's been a couple of months um, or a year maybe since uh, he's released these. So maybe he's uh, gone um, the, um, in the stamping of the Imperial logo down packed, but uh, that's, oops, that came out of the bag right there. That's one. And that's a really nice packaging. Um, first of all, they're, or they're in bubble wrap like this. 
And there's different options. You can get them thicker, um, which is almost three times the price, um, or more than two times the price. But I think uh, these thinner ones, you can buy more. And I think the thickness is totally, totally fine. And there's other ways, you can also get it with like a keychain option uh, where it's still made of Damascus steel. Um, I didn't want to get that because I really don't like keychains on my keys. Um, and yeah, I only have car keys anyways. My house is all smart home, so I don't you have use for any keychains anyways. And uh, you can also get it with um, the cloth, um, a, I guess a cloth replica of what you saw on the Mandalorian when they kind of like showed Mando or Din Djarin, um the piece of Beskar um, on the table. So without further ado, sorry, I'm just rambling and rambling. We are going to open this um, really nice logo there, zero, five, one to one. I'm going to open this up like that, and oh my goodness. Wow. That Imperial logo is perfect. And oh, another thing to note is some of um, the metal ones that were made out there didn't even have a pattern on the back or the sides, top or bottom. It was really just the front, so that you could really only show it like this. So if you actually gave it to somebody um, and they flipped it around, they would not get the pattern all the way. So this is amazing. Look at this detail. And this is real Damascus steel. And it even has the indents carved out in the back there. But that Imperial logo is perfect. I mean, when I was looking online, some of them almost looked double stamped and it looked like skewed, like the stamp didn't go all the way through, um, but this is absolutely perfect. All right, so that's one. I'll open the next one here. This is like Christmas. Oh man, the pattern, so nice. This one you can't really see on the camera, but it is slightly thin here where they stamped it. But it still looks really, really good. Um, and you can see side by side, patterns are completely different. And that's what I like. Because if I had three identical, it just looks strange. It doesn't, yeah. They just look like um, counterfeit uh, Beskar. <laughs> and then finally, the third and last. Oops. There goes the mud horn. Another really, really nice piece here. That is so sweet. And they're heavy. This is probably a good I don't know, three pounds? You can, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they are rock solid. I'm gonna go grab a scale later and show you guys um, the weight. Let's see uh, how close in weight they are. So that's it right there. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod so you guys can see. Up close. How these Beskar ingots look. Really, really amazing work. I could not be happier with these. So if you guys are looking for the plastic ones or the 3D printed ones or the aluminum, um, I know those ones are slightly thicker, but these aren't thin by any means. And they look great. I think they're the perfect size, weight, 
But again, you can buy the actual one-to-one. I think it's almost double the thickness of this uh, on his website, but I think these are a very good compromise because there aren't any official like sizing or weights that uh, Disney or Lucasfilms or The Mandalorian Show have uh, released to anybody. But these look fantastic. Wow. All right, I'll flip this one over so you guys can can also see the back there. The pattern is amazing. Completely all individual, all different from each other. Looks amazing. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go grab a scale and we're gonna weigh these puppies. All right, so I will catch you guys in a bit and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. I'm here with my trusty little kitchen scale um, that I use while I'm cooking. And today it is going to be the Beskar scale. All right, so we're going to turn this thing on. We're going to do it in grams and we're going to weigh the very first piece of Beskar here. It has some really good weight to it. And it is 327 grams. That's 11 and a half fluid ounces. So some pretty good weight to that. All right, 327 grams for the first one. The second one is 296. Huh, that is quite, is lighter. All right, 296. And this one, hmm, feels slightly heavier than this one. This one definitely feels the heaviest. All right, so my best guess is gonna be 302 grams. Let's see. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> 302 grams. Um, why didn't I use that to play the lottery? That's crazy. Okay, that's <laughs> 302 grams. Um, wow, I can't believe I actually guessed that. That's kind of insane. I just threw out a number. Um, 327 grams. I wonder, I wonder if it's because this logo is stamped a little shallower than these two. They're much deeper if that accounts for the weight. Um, oh. Okay, these two are the same height, but this one here is almost a millimeter taller than this one. So that could be that extra weight there. 327. 297 and then 302 what I guess that's insane <laughs> um, but yeah I wonder how they uh, value Beskar on the show um, if it's by weight then this one is uh, worth the most which is pretty cool um, but yeah um, maybe I should get a measuring tape I'll go over here to my closet of measuring tapes. Um, and this thing measures, let's see here, four and a half inches by two and almost a quarter inches and quarter inch thick. But that one's the thickest one, so let's see here. This is slightly under a quarter inch, but it is all good because no one is going to be able to tell. They all three look amazing. Um, I could not be happier with these. And yeah, I'm glad to have them in my collection. I don't know if I'm gonna put them in the detail with this uh, helmet. These might get a little heavy for the glass shelf. Don't want that shelf to come crashing down because you've seen online like how bad some details are. Um, I put together mine as best as I could. Didn't tighten the screws down too hard so I won't have any exploding glass. But I still don't think I'm gonna put those there. I'm gonna put them on my Star Wars shelf um, with some of my Mythos statues and I think they will look great. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to stack them somehow and make it look, arrange them so it looks really nice. Um, but later on, I have the Iron Studios one quarter scale Mando and Gorgu, or the child, uh, or Baby Yoda, coming. And these three pieces plus the Mudhorn skull is going to look great with it. Um, I have some other exciting news to tell you guys. I'm getting like a full custom statue display case cabinet done here in the basement. So it's going to be a lot more room for more statues and I can display them all properly and hopefully have them dust free when I have glass in front of it and whatnot. But you know what? Enough rambling. Um, this was my unboxing review of the 05AU. Um, the blah, 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 blah. Um, Damascus steel uh, Beskar ingots. They are great little pieces. You can get them on Etsy or you can get them on his website direct. It does take him a while to make them. I think it's about a five week lead time because these are, these have to be forged and made um, to order. And you guys just have to be patient if um, you want something so nice and so perfect like this. Uh, if not, then go out and get the 3D printed ones or the uh, aluminum engraved ones. Um, I think KR Sabres makes them from their armory. Um, those are the aluminum ones and then you would have to oxidize and sand them to get the, the dark patterns like this. But with Damascus steel, this what you see is what you get. All different, all different characteristics and uh, what an amazing result. Great job, guys. So yeah, that's it for that. I hope you liked the review. Like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.